Another one. Wrote her the biggest stories at this tournament. I see myself as the one doing that. Sato, the greatest women baseball pitcher in each game over there by Libya. Yeah, I think that I could be one of them. Yeah, nice job by Sanjum Park. We are Velez. We are good. We have talent. We are strong. I wish we had that team going to World Cup. We have kicked Nomar and Jerry to the curb for this next segment. We're joined now by Jessica Mendoza coming down from the booth and also two very special guests, the co-founders of Grassroots Baseball, Jeff Idelson and Gene Fruth. We just saw the trailer for See Her, Be Her. Tell us about this incredible documentary that has now become a reality, Gene. Well, it's getting close. It's going to be airing on the MLB Network between games two and three of the World Series. So. We're getting close and it's really exciting. It's about seven women baseball players around the world at the pinnacle of their career. And yes, women baseball players. And there's so many people in the world that don't even know that women play baseball. And baseball is growing for women by leaps and bounds. So I'm really excited to just give these women a platform and hopefully create more opportunities. And you, Jeff? Absolutely. I yeah. mean, uh, the, the documentary really shines a light on, on women and women's baseball. We see how big it is around the globe. We see how it's growing in the United States, and uh, now is the time to shine a light on it. First of all, can I just say thank you? Thank you guys <laughs> for doing this. I mean, the trailer brings so much of what this piece is, but I know, Gene, especially with you and your photography and how you've highlighted so many women within the sport, but what would you say stood out to you of, of everything that you covered in the documentary? It's just the pure, like, emotion of these women, where they're, I mean, they've gone through so much adversity, and I know you understand that. To play the game that they love, it was not easy for them. The road was not easy, yet they persevered, and they're at the top of their game. And the most inspiring part is that they're the trailblazers for the next generation. The next generation of girls in baseball is coming, and it's coming on strong. And it's thanks to these women. Can you also talk about, I mean, the global impact? Because, I mean, we're seeing images, our USA baseball team, and we're seeing so many of the stars that have come through now in our own country. But when you think about globally, the impact of baseball for women, you saw Uganda, Japan, South Korea. Can you talk about that as well? There are 25 countries that have national teams in women's baseball, and people don't know that. Japan has professional women's baseball. There's women in Japan getting paid to play baseball on professional women's baseball baseball teams, all women's baseball teams. We have our Kelsey Whitmore here, who's the only woman who plays on an all men's team. And that's a hard road, and she's just killing it. But think about the opportunities if we had all women baseball teams, and it's coming. South Korea has 50 all women's baseball teams, and countries like Canada is growing, and the USA is growing. There's more opportunities for girls and women than ever before, and it's really about shining a light on them so more opportunities come. And Dodgers part owner Billie Jean King, she's involved in this as well as an executive producer. How did this come to be where Billie Jean King wanted to be a part of this? You know, I know everybody knows she's the most famous famous woman tennis, woman tennis player in the world, certainly a legend, but really she's a crusader for women's sports, for yeah. women's equality in sports. And I think that's the biggest thing, even besides all the tennis, you know, what she'll be known for. And it took her all of two seconds to say, yes, I want to get behind <laughs> this. And let's do this. Let's shine a light. Well, and her brother pitched in Major League Baseball. So she's always been connected with the sport and obviously being a huge advocate. I think one of the biggest things that I've also been impressed, and we know for anything women in a men's space, is you need male support. And, and when I think about the men that have stepped up for this, Cal Ripken Jr., Ichiro Suzuki, yep. Tony Perez. I mean, there have been so many men that are behind this and took also two seconds to get behind it and to uh, Dodger players I'll have you know I'll let Jeff take over from there yeah no I mean in addition to Cal and Ichiro uh, Jimmy Rollins and Chan Ho Park yeah. Chan Ho Park being from the same city Dejan as our uh, our Shiro from South Korea uh, uh, So Young Park all right we see a book before we let you go I want to hear about this book because it's not just a film that's coming out there's also a fantastic book here yeah it's a companion book see her be her it'll be out in mid-October see her be her.com 
and the book has wonderful essays from Cal Ripken Jr. talking about how his sister wanted to play baseball but had no opportunities and wanted to play softball. And Billie Jean King writes a wonderful essay and all of our sheroes around the world write wonderful essays that are in our film as well. Well, thank you both for coming on thank our show know. tonight and also thank you for making this wonderful documentary. Everybody can see it. Please see her, see it. be her. It's going to premiere MLB Network between games two and three of the World Series. Gene and Jeff, thank you so much for coming on with us. And thank you, Jessica Mendoza, for being a trailblazer yes. yourself. See her, be her. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right, still more to come. You're from Dodger Stadium. Max Muncy, 19 career home runs against the San Diego Padres. Tonight feels like a perfect night to hit number 20 as the Dodgers and Padres get ready to square off. Coming up at 7 o'clock. update on Miguel Rojas's groin injury and another major piece to the bullpen hits the injured list.